Uh, the universe ripped his comms out. Captain Sharp, I've pinpointed their location. Oh, thank God. I'm not losing any more legends today. Uh, Gideon, take the ship to that location. A ship? Nate, you're, Nate, with, you're me. with me. Hang on. Hang on. Why is my voice echoing? Like she act by comms. She can hear everything you're saying. That thing against the Wave Rider? Touche, Spooner. Please, stop shooting my ship! Don't come any closer. I ain't gonna let y'all abduct me again. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. That's what you think this is? You think we're aliens? The hell else could you be? No, 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 no. We're time travelers. Time travelers. Yes. That's our time ship, which is also a spaceship, but that's beside the point. Look, I'm sorry that we trespassed, okay? It was wrong, but we're desperate. Listen, the woman I love was abducted by aliens last night, and I just found out that she's gonna propose to me. I will do anything if you can find her. Will you please help me? Exactly what an alien would say. Just no! Now can I burn this place down? Can we go over the plan one more time? Because it still feels slightly suicidal. Oh, we don't have enough fuel to turn around and go home, right? Uh -huh. So we commandeer the ship. From Kayla, my vicious, violent, and very vindictive boss. And we open a wormhole back to Earth's temporal zone. An unstable rip in space-time itself. And then we fly the ship through it. On whatever fumes remain after we burn everything, opening the wormhole. Well, then we better get moving. First things, you gotta go get rid of your boss. Right. Okay. Here goes nothing. Gary. Your glasses. Whoops. Sunshine. 